Hello, Gemini, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach who helps sensitive, self-reflective souls choose maximum growth and positive high vibration energy integration. I've got a message for you about your spiritual path this week. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go right away left to right. This is an inside-outside reading which is going to show us the inner world as well as the outer world. Huh. Okay. <laughs> do I give to myself or do I give to them? What do I do? All right. So this is interesting, Gemini. On one level, one layer of this is that you may be starting a new kind of stream. <laughs> something to do with law, perhaps, or government, or, um, you know, it's coming through as possibly the arts because of the idea of balance, keeping things grounded. This Ace of Wands is looking at a new start. So that's kind of one layer of it. The second layer is that we've got a renewed sense of what is true and what is right for you, what really works for you and what doesn't. That's our justice card here. And there's a razor sharp view. Can you see her eyes? She has these really pretty blue eyes. She has this razor sharp view of the truth. You know, there's kind of like, it's almost as if you stand in front of her naked and you can't hide anything. So the places where you overgive are being seen. The places where you're not really, your heart's not in it are being seen. Like it's a moment of complete honesty. And this justice card is calling you to say, okay, you are ready for this new start. You've got this energy sparking within you that, that needs an outlet, that needs to start somewhere. How honest are you gonna be with yourself about what you need to be doing with that energy? What truly is in your heart? And what truly is your, your higher calling? These colors on this card, the blues, the purples, and then the, the violet, the darker purples, all of that are these higher chakras. So what is truly in line with you? The justice card asks you to look almost, I'm gonna say the word cruel, but it's not like you're being punished. It's, there's a harshness to it in that there's no emotion in this card. There's no subjectivity. There's no like, well, sort of, or gray area. It's very black and white. Either you love it or you don't. Either it suits you or it doesn't. There's, there's really no wishy-washiness or waffling. It either balances or it doesn't. So as you've got this energy sparking within you, wanting to start this new path and wanting to go into a new place, these are the questions you're being asked to look at. Let's look at your outside world. All right, right away, you're being asked to cut off any dependencies or dependent energy that you have. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, could, I could break it down and explain it, but that's these two cards together is the biggest message kind of shouting off of them. That nobody needs to be clinging on to you while you're making this new start for yourself. Your energy needs to be going only to you and not to making someone else need you so much. This is not to say that you're not gonna be there to help them or support them. You are gonna be there to help or support them, but you need them to need you less. <laughs> How is that for a codependent dependent statement? It is time for them to need you less. It is time for the apron strings to be cut. It is time for more an equal give and take to be in place. So if this is a partner, there needs to be a better give and take established. If this is a child, one of your children, this is maybe time to cut off a little bit and say, you know what, I can't do that for you. You can do that for you much better than I can do that for you. You need to start doing that for yourself. If this is work, this may be about finding that balance again. Where am I giving and taking enough? Am I giving enough? Am I taking enough? 
those kinds of questions. There's so much theme of balance and yet there's also a theme of timing. These two cards are all about balance. These two cards are all about timing. That it's the right time for this new start, but in order for this new start to really take off, you have to cut off everyone that's hanging on to you. Everyone that's dependent on you, that needs things from you. Because they don't, not in at this time. This time is really about putting yourself first and really committing to yourself. Part of the reason why you're not fully committing to yourself is because you're distracting yourself with the needs of others. So they're actually, it's serving you to have them so dependent on you because then you don't have to show up for yourself. But that's not going to work, Gemini. It's not the time for that. All right. This is the time to take your time to make this your time and to be honest because it's all right there waiting for you. All right, Gemini, thanks so much um, for sharing your time and energy with me. I am currently offering one-on-one -on -one intuitive readings as well as personal guidance sessions. So if you are in need of some kind of spiritual growth support, please check out soulguidancewithadriana.com. The link is in the description below. I look forward to seeing you next time and have a good one.